Greetings Baconists and Bacon Lovers alike and welcome to Flops Gate Gaming. Today we are racing around Camino Extreme in the Dutch Touring Cars. Uh, spectating Mr. Super Titan as he is in last and it's almost nearly overtaken Super Titan. Uh, nah, nah, I can't even speak English today. This is my second take on this uh, as my uh, capture card. Oh, and Flavius hit the wall and almost hit Titan. Um, and it's almost, almost being taken over rather by uh, Psycho Kit. Yes, this is my uh, second take on this because uh, for some reason my capture card software, editing software which I use, um, decided to go, nope, you're not loading the outro video, you're going to crash. So I need a new computer. And, ooh, I've just overtaken Psycho and Mr. Titan as uh, Psycho Kit goes and overtakes Titan due to slight break which you didn't need to. Um, so yeah, I'm probably not going to be the best of moves now. I'm desperate for this new computer. It's being built, I swear. Um, I phoned them up last week, so it is being built. Um, so hopefully next week, and I'll be here. Um, yeah. Um, essentially, all I'm doing now is uh, hunting down uh, fat vapes. Um, and in the meantime, I will talk about a little thing that I instantly was, can remember that I was looking through my followers list. <coughs> um... Liverpool School, or the at is L Pool School, or something like that. Basically, it's a school in my area um, that teaches, I believe, 12 to 18 or 19 year olds, like high school and um, sixth form, uh, how to design and build video games. And um, I'm hopefully going to get in touch with them and see what I can do to help promote them as such. I mean, it's been, this is now my third year. And they followed me when I first started, so excuse me. But um, yeah, um, it'd be interesting to. Uh, I'm they've, they've released a few games that I've seen since last time I looked, um, such as Extreme Pong and loads of 2D platformers, such as uh, Late for a Date, and that. And um, yeah, just to point out that it, sometimes in the corners um, there's like dead zones where you hit the corner and the game is like, no, nope, you're not going over here because the thing's cheating. Which is annoying, but uh, also clever, and I can see his reasoning. But yeah, it would be like uh, these like kids essentially um, make video games, and it's freaking awesome. I actually want to pop along if it's possible at some point, like on a visit or something. I don't know. Um, obviously, I'm on my YouTube gear, um, and just pop along, see how they do, how they make it, and whatnot, and test the final products. You know. Um, uh, maybe test it as it goes or whatever. I don't know. Maybe a monthly visit or bi monthly visit, something like that. Um, but then I need to take time off work, wouldn't I? I'd have to work that one, work that bit out. But um, yeah, um, at some point I'll hopefully sort that out and get in touch and hopefully promote them in some way or other. Even if it's just occasional tweet every now and then or I'd uh, dedicate a video to a few of the games that they play or build rather. Um, yeah, I mean, it would be interesting to see. Um, I, I'm talking here because there's not much for me to say here, apart from I'm chasing down fat vapes right here. Um, but yeah, you know, it, I'm. It's nice. I mean, it's it's the only school that I I know of um, easily to be not as easily found that actually does game design. I mean, I know some colleges do game design, but then that tends to be like the artwork or something. I'm not entirely sure, I didn't study game design because I wasn't into game design, I'd rather have fun playing the game than building the game. Um, because I remember going to applying for a game tester, but you need to know the gaming code and this and it's like, ah, I, I was struggling with maths at university and you were doing motorsports engineering, ironically. And um, yeah, just the maths really, really confused me and baffled me. I didn't really fancy doing maths. But yes, um, it's really, really close to Mr. Fat Vapes right now, going on the inside of the corner, only, but unfortunately, not making it. You see, Tolino's just ahead in first position. You see, Flavif is really pushing against Fat Guy. And, oof, you have a little bit of collision. Now, what happened there, because we both called bullshit on this, um, was essentially I turned to the left uh, on that curb because I was about to run out of track. And Fat Vapes, for some reason, decided to turn right, even though he had perfectly enough of um, track to move over 
or whatnot, and he drives in third person view, and I drive on the bonnet view. So, hmm. <laughs> he knew I was there, but whatever. Um, but yeah, as you can see, he's just really chasing down Mr. Fat Vapes here. Um, I mean, hell, I could probably design, think about it. I'm just sorry, I'm just thinking back to um, the school. I mean, I could probably pop along and give them an idea or two. You know, we could build and <laughs> draft a game in like five minutes or something. I don't know. We'll just see what happens. Um, yeah, as you see, I overtake Mr. Five Apes and he only just as he closes in the gap just behind Flabbeth. And the chase is on for chasing Dantelino on lap three out of six around Camino Extreme. Uh, next week we'll be going around Catalonia, in case I forget to mention that in the end of this video. Um, we actually raced a week after schedule than scheduled because uh, only three people turned up to the race. Myself, Tolino and DJ Ghost only turned up, uh, who again unfortunately couldn't make it to this race uh, due to being ill or busy, I can't remember. Why the excuse was in the last video, he wasn't here for that reason, uh, because we do two per day. Um, just purely because it fills up and it's like 9 to 11 laps each, so... Yeah, after which time we've had enough, really, uh, especially competitively. I mean, we still have race outside of it and possibly to tune our cars up a bit. I mean, I don't touch my Ooh, a little bit of a snudge from myself to, to Tolino purely because braking zones. Um, obviously, I'm trying to brake later to get past Tolino to his braking area, so I don't get past it. Excuse me. It's like 4 in the morning and I'm recording this. <laughs> so, um, I apologize if I... God. Yeah. Oh, I'm cute. I do apologize. Or oh, burp. Um, this natural. But yeah, um, like I can say, just really, really pushing uh, that Audi A4 to catch up to Tolino. And uh, I can't really say much, really. Um, apart from I want to promote that school, and uh, I'm catching up to Tolino at some point. Um, oh yeah, I'll talk about the track. Um, with Camino Extreme, I chose. I mean, we only did six laps because one, the length of it; two, the difficulty; and three, um, there is no three really. Um, but um, each cars, are, each of the cars are different. Like we chose, we initially chose four, which I said in the first video, I believe: um, the Nissan GTR racing car, the Mercedes C-Class, the Audi A4 touring cars, and the Opals. Um, and everyone decided to settle on the German cars for some reason. Well, I had both Audi and Mercedes, and I found I prefer the Audi over the Mercedes. Um, Torino was actually using my setup of the Mercedes uh, kit. I guess fancy trying out his Mercedes against my Audi, because uh, we developed both Audis and Mercs together, um, and they're very similar. Um, especially around Silverstone, like there was only tenths of a second in between it, no matter which way it went. Um, uh, Fat Vapes decided to go for a car which wasn't a German, well, it ends up being German, but wasn't an Audi or a Mercedes to actually beat me. Um, and he found a car which beat, beat me in corners, but then, but not on straights. Uh, so he did still kick his ass. But, uh, and then Tyen was uh, decided, was initially going to go for the GTR, but then changed his mind because Fat Vapes was on his own with the Nopal, so he decided to essentially team up with him. Um, so yeah, like the actual track, um, I probably mentioned this in the first video, but I'll mention it again. Um, the Mercs are good at coming, the Mercs Mercedes are good at going out of corners, the Opus are good at coming, going into corners, and the Audis are good at long corners and straights. Uh, but as you can see here, uh, I can catch up to Tolino because he's on the defence and I'm on the attack, but I cannot seem to get past him no matter what I try. I mean, the occasional bump, um, but that does happen in motorsport regardless. I mean, it's not intentional. It was always accidental. Um, at first, he gave me crap because I tend to bump into everybody to get them out of the way. Accidentally. <laughs> There's two things I say. If I bump into someone and say a curse word, it's accidental. If I shout to get out of the way and then a bump, it was intentional. Bit of a difference. Um, but because I have a habit of bumping into people, um, everyone was like, Flo, just stop being... Um, you know, aggressive, and don't put me out the way, so I'm not trying to, essentially, I'm just trying to get past you as clean as possible, but it was really rather hard, because uh, also driving a bonnet view, you can't, I can't see all of the road, I mean, at best you can fit two cars, never mind three, 
Um, although it looks like you can fit down three, but you can see I'm crossing from one side of the track to the other. So really two cars at the most, and even then you need to give each other room because you're bound to move on your racing line because you've made a mistake or whatever. Or you realize you're not in the right place, so you move over. Loads of variations or whatever. But yeah, um, Torino isn't the most experienced race driver out of all of us. But then again, neither is uh, Geo, Ghost or uh, Titan. But... Um, yeah, considering uh, the difficulty of the track, um, the speeds we were going at, and the amount of pressure I was putting under him, Tolino did a very, very good job of staying up in front. I've gone and given it away, I think, for the ending, but there's nothing much else to spoil. It's just really how what happens in between now and then. As it's only um, about five more minutes, so. It's like, ooh, it's really, really close right there, making him break a little bit too hard to deciding into a wall, but not losing too much in the way of speed. Sorry, the screen's gone black. I actually went and dodged the controller then. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I'm post-recording, so I had to go for the controller. I did at the time, though. But anyway, um, yeah, I lost some speed uh, due to the fact that I went <laughs> uh, a little bit wide. And, um, yeah. See, this is the amount of dedication I put on the videos. Well, not the case that I couldn't fall asleep. <laughs> it's not the latter. Um, but yeah, uh, no, I, to be honest, I, I wanted to do this video and I can't sleep. But um, yeah, it's just really, really close racing. Um, I'm still miffed at my software decided to say, nope, you're not having this video, take two. So I'm guessing it's wanting me to like the software off. And again, a little snudge from, and he said smashed and snudge, snudge, there, there. A little nudge from Flogged again, or myself, into Tolino. They're still making him first. Still followed by myself. And really, it's just a chase down, and also giving screen time to sponsors and affiliates, as always. Um, also, I know this is completely out of sync, um, but I am recording this on the 11th of November, 2014, so today is technically Remembrance. Remembers what day? Tuesday. It is Remembers Tuesday, so I will be holding two minutes silence uh, personally myself at 11 o'clock in the morning. Well, at 11, 11, 11. Um, but yeah, earlier, i.e., about an hour ago or so, I was talking to Jerky XP, I was like, just having a bit of banter, uh, saying if they wanted a Ferrari 250 GTO um, as a new car. <laughs> it's apparently if theirs is broken or something, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, we were just talking about something that was 4s of 4 and they fancied uh, racing with us. And uh, they said we will look into buying the game and racing with us. So, we're actually going to have a company racing with us, which would be pretty impressive. And as you can see, lap 5 out of 6. Um, it's going wide and losing some time behind Tolino. But yeah, um, going back to the Jerky XP, you can probably see them on my car somewhere. Um, they don't sponsor me whatsoever because they're American based and don't ship to the UK as yet, but they're hopefully looking into it. But, um, yeah, they will hopefully be uh, raising with us at some point. Um, probably not in this series, it's probably a little bit too. It's only three weeks left, and we've already done four out of the ten laps or something like that. Um, we roughly do about two races per week. And so yeah, there's like nine bases left. So I I've lost track. Um, excuse me. I am so sorry. Um, yeah, obviously just chasing down to the end. There's nothing much else to say really. And yeah, it'd be really really nice to see um, Jackie XP joining our um, or not not mine, but I mean uh, joining in on our videos and because uh, the. They really do push for uh, communities. Um, okay, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, customer service and whatnot. That's what I was looking for. Um, they like to be involved with the community. So it's actually nice that they are going to take up four to four. Oop, and I've gone hit Tolino again. Um, yeah, even if they come last, you know, the fact they're taking part, um, it's a big bonus. I mean, I'd, I'd really like it for uh, my actual sponsors, which are Nifty Mods and Real Gaming Gear, to have Forza 4 and take part in races, but I'm guessing they're more into shooters. And also, Real Gaming Gear has gone quiet for some reason, I'm a bit sceptical as to why. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not looking to move sponsors, he's a brilliant guy. Um, I like his products, they're really, really good quality. 
Um, if, I actually wanted to buy it off him again, which is why I want to get in touch with him. But, you know, if, if shit happens, I guess. Um, I think he's tweeting, he's just not answering to me. I don't know why. I probably said something and that offended him by accident. I don't know. I hate people. But anyway. Now you see the really last lap, really, really pushing, going off the track to actually catch up to Slim, which I do, and then I possibly go a loser in this corner. And Antasha was really, really close on his tail, really close on Tillian's tail, still close on Tillian's tail, and I can't quite see what's happening. And oh, I've, I've gone wide, which means I've lost some time on Tillian, losing that little bit of an edge. As we go down to the final straight towards the start finish line. Tolino is in first, followed by Flobber the Great, followed by Fat Guy, followed by Tight Super Titan, and then followed by uh, Psycho Kit. The next race will be um, Catalonia. Until next time, take care.